Yeah, yeah, what with the cinder? Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. You would have done the same. You would have done if you wear matches, you would have done the same. Hey, what's good, guys? Uh, welcome back to episode three of uh, Find Love or Die Trying. Uh, last episode, we had uh, two dates with uh, Violet. I thought they went pretty well, a uh, few cute moments in them, and I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, let's just, uh, let's just get into it. No time wasting. I walked down to the kitchen, where the girls were having breakfast. So, how was the date? Yeah, tell us! Tara was furiously scribbling down notes with the title, War Plans, in bold. It was really quite nice. We actually made this cake and cookies yesterday together, Luis and I. I, I hope you all enjoy it. They're amazing, Violet. Thanks for making it for us. Thanks so much. They're so delicious. Tara scribbled, war attrition is likely not an option. Uh, what are you writing there, Tara? Nothing. So how come there's cookie batter everywhere? No matter where I look, I can see batter on every surface of the kitchen. It wasn't just the batter, Violet and I knocked over quite a few things in our fight. Ah, uh, that's... You sure it was just baking together? Uh, I thought it was more than that. I charaded as if I was heartbroken. I gotta hand it to you, Violet. I didn't think you had it in you. Hubba hubba. Wait, no, nothing like that happened. Allie and I laughed and made finger guns at each other. I don't get it. <laughs> That's because you're a good person, Yuri. Oh, Allie, bro. Allie, you were fooled just like me. You were fooled just like me. Don't let her fool you. Uh, I think what Allie is trying to say is that Violet and Luis... Allie stuffed a cookie in Scarlet's mouth before she could finish her sentence. Mm. Well, these cookies are pretty useful. You gotta teach me how to make some of these sometimes, Violet. It would be my pleasure, Allie. Ooh, teach me too. Why should Luis have all the good stuff? Ah... Uh, we spend the rest of the morning fooling around in the kitchen. Ugh, my head. You okay? You don't look so good. Not so loud, Doug. My head's killing me after I had a ton of wine last night. I still had to edit our broadcast after that, which didn't help. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the woman who decides whether I get to live or die every night. And she was very, very drunk when she did just that. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Clearly you're still alive, Luis. So that, so it's all good. Believe me, you'd drink too if you worked here. Just look at the Brother Fives. Working at a, working at a futuristic evil corp has to come with some benefits, right? You'd think. But we still have to pay... For dental out of the pocket um before I forget what this show's all about today's the day you go on a date with who was your other soul mate candidate again Yui Yui how much did you drink last night cat whatever I knew that just testing you duh right fuck dude I'm like changing your voice all right let's get the second date with Yui started Woo? Whoa. You tell the world to stop spinning up like a little bitch. I'm pretty much fucked, huh? Let's go. We got a date with Yui. I could see Yui waving at me from the top of the hill. <laughs> there, Luis. It's, it's nice to see you again. It's nice to see you too, Yui. You wanted to show me something? Now that I was closer, I could see Yui was holding one hand behind her back. Believe me, it's the most amazing thing you've ever seen. Behold. 
Oh my, it's a bunny! It's a bunny! It was indeed a bunny. Oh my god, it was indeed a bunny. Where did this little guy come from? To be honest, I've got no idea. I wonder if he's a wild one or maybe he's somebody's pet. I've asked around, but it doesn't look like he belongs to anybody. So I've been taking care of him since I found him. I just couldn't help myself, you know? Yui's smile was as earnest as could be. Wow, what a nice girl. Hopefully she doesn't try to kill me. <laughs> Didn't you have a pet bunny back home? I had two, Bun and Bun Bun. Both of them are little rascals, or are total rascals. But Bun 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 here is a good boy, aren't you? Bun 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 again. She nuzzled against Bun Bun Bun's head. Yes, you are, Nuzzle Nuzzle. We played with the bunny for a little while. She picked the bunny up and held it in her arms. Bun Bun looked quite content. You know, you're pretty amazing with animals, Yui. Well, I've been surrounded by animals my whole life. Back at my house, well, to be honest, it was more of a barn than anything. Since my brothers were too young and my grandma was getting up there, I had to take care of all the animals. Grandma took in care of them ever since they were born. My parents were supposed to take care of them after Grandma retired, but... Well, you know, life happens. I'm just glad to have what I have. Ah. Bun 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 had managed to squeeze out of her hands and run off. We gotta catch him. Let's go. On it. I ran as fast as I could after Bun Bun, but it was no use. The distance kept widening. Before long, we couldn't even see him anymore. S sorry I couldn't catch him. Sorry I couldn't catch him. He's really fast. For something so small. Ah, don't worry about it. Bun 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 likes to do this all the time. He's a bit mischievous, but he won't do anything dangerous. We can take our time looking for him. If you're willing to help. Of course, Yui. We started walking towards where we last saw Bun Bun. Right after we caught our breath again. Gosh, it's so nice to be outside. The smell of fresh air. The breeze. There's nothing like it. There really isn't. I smiled. After Yui... Uh, at first... At first I was really excited to go to the city. There's so many people, so many things to do, so many beautiful things. And most of all, I got to meet you. Shucks, you're going to make me blush. She laughed and slapped me on the arm. Even so, the city's just not my thing. It's a little bit funny though. The reason I had to come all... Come, come home all of a sudden was terrible. I, a little part of me was glad to be home. Ever had that kind of feeling before? I have. It's strange, but sometimes there's a good and bad. And sometimes that good can outweigh the bad. Exactly, you get it, Luis. My family's never been closer. And that's all I want. They told me to make a lot of money in the city, make something of myself, all that. It might seem old-fashioned, but I just want to put the people I love first. That's all I, That's all you got in life, really. I'm curious, what do you put first in life? Oh. Bro, what the hell? Don't ask me freaking deep questions, dude. Bro. Do I put my family first? Do I put my career? Do I put my happiness first? I gotta put the 40 subscribers first! Then <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> Or 39. <laughs> uh, mm, I would say... I would say happiness. Happiness. If you don't have that, what do you have? Oh, is that so? I think we'd make a great team then. We talked for several hours what we wanted out of life. We seemed to match up perfectly. I was beaming the whole time. It was hard to believe that. It's Bun Bun! Bun Bun Bun! Yui pointed in front of us and sure enough, there was Bun 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 chomping on a bush. I'd never seen any m anyone move so fast. Yui descended on Bun Bun like a hawk and grabbed him in an instant. You are going back to the den, you little bad, you bad little bunny. 
but I'm happy you're safe. She nuzzled her face against his fur. Button Bun was practically purring with delight. And then she looked right at me. I can't promise I could give you the most exciting life with the most twists and turns around every corner. But I can promise that if you chose me, I'd always be by your side, no matter what. Wherever you were, I'd come running. Always. Bro, yo, you, you're making my heart melt. You're making my heart melt, you. I am blushing. I am blushing. She took a step forward to me and kissed my cheek. Damn. <laughs> okay, Yuri. Oh, this means a lot to her, you can tell. We locked eyes, and for the first time, all I could see was her and how beautiful she was. Bun 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 seemed to be a little jealous after that. Thanks again for the help, Luis. Being with you made this all go a lot faster, and it made it really special to me. Anytime, Yui. I'm happy to. We walked back together to the mansion, holding hands and smiling all the way. Oh, all the while. I was feeling too restless after today's date to wait in my room, so I went to walk. I went for a walk downstairs. I decided to walk to the kitchen and open the fridge. Uh, turns out there were some leftover cookies that Violet and I had made together. I grabbed a few and woofed them down. Delicious. Got a case of the midnight munchies? I figured you'd be. I figured. I'd do my civil duty and help finish the cookies ballot and I'd made. Right. Only a good cemetery would finish all the cookies so no one else would have to make that sacrifice. I'm just too good of a person. I know. It gets me in trouble sometimes. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, I have a meaning to talk to you. What's up? How'd your date with Yui go? It was, it was good. Awesome. It felt like it was out of a fairy tale. You and I spent the whole day just t taking in nature, talking about home and family. She's totally wifey material. <laughs> Isn't she? Yui's amazing. You know, before the show even started, she was my personal favorite. I can see why. She's got such a big heart. I'm in awe of her. I really love that about her. That she can be so kind and thoughtful, even when life gives her a losing hand. Yui's really one of a kind, especially nowadays. If you don't get a chance to be engaged to her by the end of this show, good luck ever getting a chance to. I've got a feeling that she has a long, long line of people wanting to date her after the show. They'll have to get through me first. Oh, they will. Anyway, you're probably safe for at least another day, thanks to the ongoing rivalry between Yui and Violet. The stakes are rising, and so are our precious ratings. So without further ado, it's time for Phase 3. You've only got one date left with each of them before the final day. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so make them count. You're not out of the woods just yet. we Will do. Alright, good. Well, I need to get back to preparing for tomorrow's show. And you better rest up for tomorrow. You only get one first you, you only get one first third date with a girl, right? Sounds good to me, cat. See you later, Luis. Good night, cat. And thanks for the help. I realized I'd probably be screwed without you. Don't thank me yet. I walked back to my door and plumped on my bed. Time to get some shut eye. Alright, we're out of the mansion. Next stop, the beach. I told you the staff wouldn't suspect a thing. That's because nobody's been <laughs> stupid enough to try to escape till now. Maybe people should have been a little more stupid a little sooner. Easier said than done. She grabbed my hand and pulled me along. We'll... We'll go through the forest, come on. We ran through the forest as if the devil were chasing us. The truth was not far from it. Okay. I can see the pier now, and the boat. We're this close to getting out of here. She's always put on her brave, her bravest face when she was afraid. We're going to make it, right? Of course. The boat is just a little further, and no one, on, no one's on our tail. I, I can't believe it. We're finally getting out of here. We're finally, 
We're finally going to leave, Luis. About time, if you ask me. I've dreamt of this moment every day since who knows how long we've been trapped here by now. But I've never thought I could escape till I got to know you. I laughed. You're giving me too much credit. It was your idea. Fine, any other sane person in there would have told you the same things. Same people didn't try to escape with me. I wouldn't have stayed sane if, I, if it weren't for you, though. She laughed. That was my favorite sound. Let's get back to to let's get back to matters at hand. We both know that this is where the rubber meets the road. Yeah. Now it's just a mad dash to the finish. You ready to run? No. I'm kidding. Let's go. That's that favorite sound of mine once more. I hope it's not the last time I hear it. All right. Episode five. Third time's the charm. Let me take a sip out of my water real quick. You gotta be kidding me. No, you gotta be kidding. My goodness, she really said that? Yeah, and she was all like, oh wait, fuck. Yeah, she was all like, <laughs> well, what the hell is that? A flash of white raced through the kitchen, sending the girls into a frenzy. What the hell is that? Coming through. Sorry. We practically bulldozed through the other girls in the kitchen. What's going on? I take it back. Bun 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 bun. He's a bad boy. He just seemed so well behaved. I thought I'd let him outside again and... Bun bun bun. Effortlessly swore past Yui under Violet and leapt onto Ali. Wow! Bun Bun somehow made his way up to her head and took her cap in his mouth. Hey, give it back! Bun 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 seemed to sneer at Ali, then leapt away and ran off. Get back here! Ali started chasing Bun 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 with all she had, but somehow, he always stayed one step ahead of her. Damn, and if it's Allie, damn, bro. Bun Bun. Damn, Bun Bun got that speed. This looks like a job for me. I'm going to need a Venus flytrap and a few bottles. Bun Bun slept onto Scarlet. Ah, get off! It is quite humorous that a mere bunny has eluded all of you. All eluded you all for this long. Think you could catch it? Why, of course. Watch a master at Bun Bun le left onto Violet's face. Ah, get this foul creature off of me. Bun Bun sneered with contempt. Someone do something. At that moment, I realized that Terra was recording Violet's struggles. I'm helping. I'm helping in just a second. Bun Bun left off a violet onto the kitchen floor and ran out. Give me my cat back. I do suppose a nice rabbit stew is on for is on for lunch today. Huh, I guess I should help too. You up to help Luis? I don't see why not. Time for round two. Now quick, before he gets too far. I'm right behind you. We spent the rest of the morning trying to catch Bun Bun. Emphasis on trying. That bunny is on something. I'm calling it now. We finally managed to catch him by baiting him with some food Violet reluctantly made, and even then, he didn't make it easy. Let's hope the rest of the day is a little more relaxed. Morning, Luis. Time sure flies, huh? The show's almost over, and you'll be able to go back to your regular life soon. No idea if that's gonna have any less headaches, though. Who knows? As strange as it sounds, I've had some fun here. The whole getting murdered thing isn't great, but it hasn't been all bad. I did mention I did mention that the other people would kill to be in your position. On second thought, they definitely haven't thought it through enough. Probably not. Well, back to business. It's time to pick who you'll go on your first, third date with. Who's the unlucky soulmate candidate today? Uh, last episode I went all violet. So, I think this episode, 
to we'll we'll go with a a Yui to even it out. Yui. The moment's finally here. The final date with the best girl. Oh wait, does does this mean I picked Yui? <laughs> oh no. I mean, I don't mind. I'm dude. Violet and uh, Yui, they're, they're both really nice girls. Uh, both really nice. Uh, but, but Yui's got that yandere. But I mean, I don't know. It hasn't shown itself. Maybe it still hasn't been. Uh, unlocked or something. The moment's finally here. The final date with the best girl. Remember, if you mess this up, there's an army of people out there waiting to take your place. Not planning on it, Cat. You didn't plan to lose your memories and end up on an insane TV show either. But look how that turned out. Life sure is funny, huh? You're telling me life's never what you'd expect. But having a life with Yui... You'd be the luckiest person alive. And I'm not saying that because I've got money on you picking her. You promise? Let's get those cameras rolling, people. I could see Yui from my room's window, walking around the front of the mansion. It looked like she was looking for something. I practically jumped down the stairs, then ran out outside to see her. Hey there, Luis. What's the hurry? You look like you're in quite a, of a rush. I just wanted to see you a little earlier. Gosh, that's really sweet of you. I've been meaning to see you too. Uh, I've just been doing a lot of thinking since you helped me get, since you helped me get Bun Bun Bun. Uh, how's the big B doing? Uh, come to think of it, that's why I came out here. He ran out and he, he ran out here in a hurry, and I was trying to catch up. So this has already happened a few times, and each time, he somehow ends up back in my room. I'm sure he's fine, I wouldn't be worried. I just can't help myself, you know? You're a really sweet person, Yui. I love that about you. You are too, Luis. Do you have time today to hang out? There's something I'd like to do with you. Of course I do, for you. Even if it's a little boring, I'm sure it can't be that boring if it's with you, you know? Whatever, whatever it is, I'm down. Okay, here we go. We just went to a freaking beach. <laughs> this bitch is goddamn Enderman. <laughs> oh, this girl, my bad. <laughs> this girl is freaking Enderman, dog. She got that instant transmission. And so we walked together to the beach. And started fishing side by side. Ah, uh, now this is the life. You have to admit it. You have to admit, this wasn't what I expected. I have to admit, fuck. This was by far the best way to pass time out on the countryside. To be honest, I'm not much crazy activities like skydiving or shopping trips. I'd rather just spend my days quietly with the person I love talking from dusk till dawn. Just enjoying the, other per the, other com the other's company, you know? That's the best. Is this okay with you? Of course it is, Yui. Getting the chance to learn more about you, to trying things you like, that's where the real fun is. I'd also much prefer that to doing crazy things all the time too. Though I do think shopping trips aren't really in the same category as skydiving. They are when you live in the deep country. Hey, you up for a little contest? Sure, let's do it. What is it? Want to see who can catch more fish? Oh shit. You're on. Hmm. Apparently I had fanned the flames of Yui's competitive spirit. For the next few hours we kept on it, on at it while we enjoyed each other's conversation and company. Yui was a natural. She was catching fish left and right. Each time she caught one, she let it back into the ocean and each time I wondered when my first one would bite. I never ended up catching a single one. But that didn't matter. What did was that we were having a ball. Thanks for indulging me, Luis. Hey, I had a lot of fun too, Yui. Don't worry about it. You don't have to lie. I know I'm not like the other girls. I grew up with nothing and it shows in how I spend my time, what I wear, everything. I love you so much, you know. If I had you, I'd 
give you all the love in my heart every moment of every day. I really were to live for love. That's what I've always wanted. But I know I could never give you all the things everyone else could. The money, the acclaimed, the excitement. And I find myself worrying, what if you picked me? And the second we leave this island, you realize that I can't give you the life you deserve. And you start to hate me. I don't know what I'd do if it came to that. So before it comes to that, I want to ask you, would just me be enough? Oh my... Bruh, how, how can I say no? How can I say no, dude? She... Oh, ain't no way. Dude, imagine if I hit no. You don't have to imagine. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. No, I... Oh. Dude, she's so cute. She's so cute. I, I have to say yes. Would, dude, would just me be enough? Oh my gosh. And, and she's just... She's like... Ah. She's like trying to like... Did I have... Yeah, yes. Yes. Of course you'd be enough, Yui. I don't need to be in the spotlight. I don't need to be rich. More than all that, I want you. And just you. I've waited so long to hear you say that. She pulled me close and kissed me. I love you so much. I I always have and I always will. I always put our happiness first. I'll make you so happy every day. I'll do this I'll do the same, I promise. Pinch me, I must be dreaming. This is as real as it gets, Yuri. Here on out, it's going to be me and you. I just can't hold myself back anymore, Elise. She pushed on she pushed me onto the warm sand of the beach and pressed herself against me. Yui. She kissed me once more, her hands wrapped around me as mine pulled her closer. Let's make up for the lost time, Elise. What happened next was imagination come to life. I lost all track of time in the outside world. Only Yui mattered. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I thought I was going to have uh, two third dates. Oh well. After today's date with Yui, I decided to take a stroll around the mansion. The night was clear as could be. A light breeze made it just a bit chilly, but not enough that I'd need to put on more. I found myself fixating on the moon without thinking. I thought I'd find you here. Why's that? Just a gut feeling. And the island-wide surveillance system. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm just thinking. I can't believe the show's almost over. It didn't feel real earlier today. Time sure flies, doesn't it? You've only got the last third date. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. You've only got the last third date with Violet tomorrow. Then the final ceremony on the day after. Speaking of which, how was your date with Yui today? It was awesome, yeah. Yui's the, Yui's the most wonderful woman in the whole world. Somehow she can take the most normal things and turn them into irreplaceable memories. More than anything, I just want to make more memories with her every day and make her happier than anyone than anyone's ever been. Geez, we're going to have to edit that to stop people from throwing up. <laughs> I get it though. You, my friend, are luckier than anyone has any right to be. Better pack your bags. I've got a feeling you'll be heading to the countryside soon. Who knew that three dates were all you needed to figure out if a marriage would last? If this TV gig doesn't work, maybe I should become a marriage counselor. <laughs> Counselor. Hmm? Mm. Anyway, I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got to get some work done tonight to prep for the ending of the show. You know what? I could use some company, and it's not like you were up to anything. Cat reached her hand out to me. I put my hand in hers on instinct. With her hand in mine, she pulled me with her to the library. Now you're probably wondering why I did bring you here. Of all places, you like to read? Well, yes, but no. There's no internet for us goons, so here's where we store most of our information. Records of every single 
run of the show building and security details, guards, schedules, and the most importantly, salary records. It's hidden in plain sight as regular books. You need to know how the how to decipher them though. They're pretty useless to the average person. Interesting, and also a little unnecessary. Who here is going to read a book? Oh, I knew the state of education was bad, but not this bad. Still, still doesn't answer why you brought me here. Well, you see, I have this lovely chair and table here that I do so love to work on. And it's truly, truly exhausting for me to get up from this lovely arrangement. I have to fetch each book I need a reference. So, you want me to grab your books for you so you can just stay here. I'm so glad you understand. And you know, I'm doing everything I can to keep you alive. And it's just a teeny tiny favor. I couldn't help but laugh at her mock pout. Sure, cat. It's the least I can do. Great. Alright. To start, I need you to grab me the Princess of Avoranda. 100 easy recipes for a Philosopher's Stone and... I regret everything. <laughs> This must be the hundredth batch of book I have had to deliver. It's been hours. Seriously, whoever designed the system should be shot. I tried to read a few books I was delivering, but like Kat said, they just seemed like regular books. And that's a wrap. Thanks for the help, Luis. I'll send you a thank you card for when you're off this island or something. At that rate, at that rate, that was pretty much slave labor. Oh my, edgy moment. <laughs> I like to think of it as more of unpaid charity work. <laughs> You've got one last day tomorrow. Don't mess it up. I'm curious, what's the first thing you're going to do when you're out of here? Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe try to figure out m what my life was before. Who knows? That's a good... That's as a good a start as any. Well, I gotta get back to editing. Night, Luis. See you, cat. Guess I'll head back to my room and call it a night. The alarms were deafening. We planned for every possibility we could, but it wasn't enough. We made it to the ship, but it still wasn't enough. Our one saving grace, the ship wouldn't start. Someone tampered with it, and there's no time to fix it. That's, that's it then. I couldn't find the words to say, I love you. I love you too, Luis. I wish we could have met anywhere but here. She held me in her arms with the last of her strength. All that's left to do is wait. Goodbye, love. Recording call episode six. Okay, we're going to end uh, this episode uh, here. Uh, Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, our two little dates with Yui. Uh, yeah, they were really, really cute. Uh, I, uh, I, hope, uh, I hope I can get uh, another upload tomorrow in. And uh, yeah, uh, if you made it this far, uh, hit that like button. Uh, comment that you made it this far. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.